Hello there, Wargamers and Orc players. I know a lot of you are. The long way is over. The new Orc Codex is here with the Beast Nega Boys included. Steve and I decided it was in our best interest that we both play Orcs. It's going to be Goths versus Freebooters in this game. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show and laugh at the shenanigans that the Orcs will bring to bear in this battle. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Okay, so for my orcs today, I'm going to be focusing on speed wah, and Luca's going to be focusing more on the regular wah. And we're also separating our models. Uh, Luca's going with boys and stuff, and I'm going with toys. So, also, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to bring. I wanted to bring too many things, and I didn't like boys. So I have two detachments, uh, an outrider and a spearhead. So I'm playing down six command points wow. already, just to try things. All right, let's start on the left-hand side here. My uh, spearhead will be led by a... Well, I'll have one character. It'll be the big mech with a shock attack gun. He will spend, I think it's 15 extra points to upgrade it. So instead of the heavy D6, it's heavy 2D3. I mean, it's uh, it's more, it's, it's not much of an upgrade, but it is more reliable amount of shots. And for the heavy supports in that, it's gonna be three separate mech guns with custom mega cannons. And uh, we also have one more heavy support. It will be a bone breaker with just a kill cannon. Not bone breaker, sorry, it's a, um, it's a wagon. Battle wagon. Battle wagon with just the kill cannon. And we have 10 tank buses riding in that in my elite choices. No um, bomb squeeze, none of the points. And then if you look at the stats of these DACA jets, uh, super efficient for their points, I think. So we're bringing two DACA jets in this detachment. And over in the other one will be my Warlord. He'll be on a trike. And he'll have the Art is Nails Warlord trait. I'm going to assume Lucas taking the exact same Warlord trait as minus one toughness. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, minus it, one to wound him. super good. It's a really super good, good Warlord trait, yeah. Um, I thought about making, anyway, these are, um, nothing else on him, nothing special. We have two units of bikers, one of them has eight, one of them has nine because of points. Uh, there's claws on the knobs. We have a rocket truck squig buggy because it needs some outline sight shooting. It is upgraded for, with nitro squigs. So basically it's going to be plus one to hit and plus one to wound. And then we got a very expensive WAS bomb blast jet. I think this thing with this current loadout is, is what you see is what you get. So it gives you, uh, it's like 260 points for this flyer. But uh, it has, it's, it's really killy, it's, it's a lot more reliable. And it's custom force field uh, is actually a five up. Oh, he's got a five up one. But it only works on flyers. Things with like aircraft? I think, I think it might be, I think maybe just aircraft. Okay, so he's got a, he's got a five up, the DAC of jets, if nearby will have a five up. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, and you're playing what clan? We're gonna go free Buddhas. So I think if you're gonna go shooting, and this is very preliminary, this is my first time, right? right. I think it comes down to bad moons or free Buddhas. And ultimately, I think uh, smaller table, I might not need the range, so free boot as it is. So anytime something in this army kills something, uh, the, everything that's a free boot will get plus one hit and it will stack. Now, for, over here, if you take a look at these mech guns, these are Gretchen. They don't get culture, right. so they will not get plus one to hit, but they are free boot is, so they will, if they kill something, they will, they will get everybody else plus one to hit. Right. And it's table wide now. Yeah, so there's no 24 inch range for the free boot is the whole table Pretty much the orc stuff will get plus one to hit. Yeah. We, it, that's melee as well. So that's that's quite Well, I mean, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the phase. I have it's, to look it like is that. It's phase. Yeah. So, like, if they charge in and kill something, then that unit will get plus one to hit in that same phase, right. or melee phase, which is really cool. Uh, yeah. it's, it's more of a shooting focus thing, and charging is mop up on those bikes. Absolutely, yeah. But yeah, exactly. I mean, they have a lot of DACA. It's, and they have a lot of attacks too, just being boys on bikes. True. Do they have choppers? Oh, so you can take sluggers or choppers. Right. For free. You take choppers. I'm taking sluggers because you want that extra pistol shot. Oh. Why would you not take that extra? I'm taking choppers, Luca. You choppers? Yeah. yeah. Sluggers are absolutely useless. I was going to say sluggers don't make any sense at all. I'm like, why? No. But you, see, you said that with such confidence. <laughs> I was so thrown out there. I'm like, no, what are you Wait, taking? What, what, what are they missing about sluggers? I'm like, I'm, I'm, let, me, let, me, let me pause this, go take a look at the book. I'm like, oh, wow. No, but yeah, you take the choppers yeah. for sure. They have a bunch of attacks. The AP on the choppers is very nice now. Um, now, what's your worry about the big squads of bikes being over six, having blast weapons hit them? Like, uh, they're I... minus one to hit. Okay, there's that. Uh, basically, the, the the idea there is you hide until it's time to come out and shoot. Okay. And you have the speed to do it. However, you you might be right. You might want to cap these out five models. Okay. Yeah. But the thing is, is like with nine of them, uh, they're they're DACA five. Four? No, six, four? No, five, four? Five, three. Five, three. Five, three, yeah. So uh, if you get within half range, and that's another reason to consider going bad moons for the extra range, but within 18 inches, every biker has 10 shots. That That's insane. Because they have two yeah. DACA guns, right? Yeah. yeah. So okay. 90 shots for the one squad, but if we if we call a speed wah, 
that is uh, plus another one 18. Shot a guy. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. 108 shots. Oh, per plus guy. two, you're right, because it's two guns. It's two guns. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, speed walk, like, it's. It's going to be spooky. It's going to be effective in this game, I think. And, like, uh, well, I mean, we'll okay. look at my golf boards so, in a second. Uh, uh, like. While we're here, though, I want to point something out. I think while, yes, you're going to see some wah and speed wah stuff, I think all of the orc stuff doesn't work against other orc stuff. Right. We, so we, were, we, we, we wanted to play orcs on orcs just for the fun of it. That way we could show off wah and speed yeah. wah in one game, boys versus toys in one game. Yeah. I mean, as much as points will allow. And... Uh, but, but my, yeah, like I was doing flash hits, I was doing Ludas, but Ramshackle's so good, it yes, negates them. Exactly. Um, uh, all my guns, everything, every gun is strength five or higher, so it's kind of negating the toughest five of the yeah. Orc boy. So in a way, we inadvertently tailored against each other. We knew each other playing Orcs, so like like Steve said, uh, Ludas are worthless, free Ludas are worthless. When no, 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 in, 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 in this good. matchup. In yeah, this matchup, yes. no, when typically they would be very excellent choices. Yes. So. Absolutely good choices. But because of Ramshackle, like they just you really cut their effectiveness. Ram, I love Ramshackle. Well, Ramshackle goes and like the planes have. Did the planes have Ramshackle? They all have Ramshackle. They didn't before though, right? No, no. But like, the only thing that Ramshackle was trucks, oh, only yes. trucks. But now I don't know if Killicans have it, but Death Dreads. Killicans have it. Yeah, so Death Dreads, Killicans have it. The, the these three flyers have Ramshackle. I think all the other flyers have Ramshackle as well. The only thing is that don't have Ramshackle are like the very heavy vehicles because they're not Ramshackled, right? They're actually thrown together, like lots of armor plates. Wagons and the Lords of War, pretty much. Yeah, they don't get the Ramshackle, which is super cool. Ah, uh, yeah. Basically, nothing's tough in the day with Ramshackle. Oh, what uh, relic did you take? Oh, okay. Uh, nothing really works for me, so I'm going to take the um, Super Cyborg body on this guy, who Just hopefully the... never gets hit. Gotcha. Okay. So he's a four bin roll and half damage. All right. That's pretty good. No. All right, one thing uh, I want to point out, actually, Luca reminded me. So I actually originally brought in this list a war boss on a bike, the Forge World model, but there's too many um, inconsistencies. And, like, they're, they're going to have to be FAQs day one to use them properly. Now, I think we both know how it's going to be ruled. Right. But I didn't want to be like, okay, this is how we're pretty sure this is all going to work with this guy. So I'm just going to take a look at the confusion. I'm going to use the inferior war boss on trike. Yeah, we th the war boss on bike from Forge World is a much better choice, obviously. Way better. Way better. He's still a speed boss, which he's got that keyword, and he pretty much works like this guy does, except he's, we just wanted to make sure we use this guy because he's got the other the guy's cheaper, pro better, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. smaller, <laughs> smaller too, right? So he's got a smaller footprint you can get around the battlefield quicker. Let's go take a look at my goth list with boys. The goths. Uh, neither of us ended up bringing Gazgul Thraka because we just. There like, was only one and we both wanted to bring him. Yeah, there was only one and we both wanted to bring him, so we decided it's best not to bring him at all. And uh, this is what I'm throwing together here. Now, two disclaimers here, folks, for you guys watching at home. I do not play orcs. I have not ever played orcs. I think I played <laughs> No, them. you played once. I, I remember one game. It must have been 8th edition, and yep. it was only boys, and I can't remember why the heck I played it, but it didn't go well. Actually, you know what? Because you, uh, yeah, your, uh, your book was coming out. Right, and you couldn't. There's nothing. None of your armors you could play without the new book coming around the corner. So you right. played my or, and like you, I knew. You, I remember you setting up the armor. You didn't want to do it. I convinced you to do it. And yeah, I'm so gung ho. And when you start playing, it's over. I'm already dead. Yeah, it was some because I was trying to play boys in eighth edition with like. I, with, I think you did tin heads, tin heads and boys. I do. I can't remember. I told I, you to bring more so on. <laughs> That's right. The big. But he didn't do anything for because yep. he was on fives and sixes like he should, unless <laughs> Steve's playing him. So this is sorry for the long intro too. If you want to go, just go to the battle port. Skip ahead here. But uh, this is the ragtag crew of goths I've thrown together. Yet uh, the other disclaimer is that uh, this is the studio collection of goths. <laughs> so uh, a lot of this has been taken apart and reincorporated into like a custom corn orc army. You see that in the middle there. We have a random sh a selection of boys because of points. A very I interesting have, bone breaker over there. I have an interesting bone breaker. I have no trucks in the studio collection. They're missing. Yeah, They're gone. That's so strange. They've been gone for a while. People like Steve. Steve's has his own personal orc army. That yellow scheme for a few years now. Yeah. So he hasn't touched the studio collection. So they've been collecting dust. They're from previous campaigns. Like so, I apologize if there's different size bases. Different size bases. We'll like, be fine. Just getting that out of the way. I'm gonna play them as if they're on 32 mil bases. Obviously, uh, I'll try. At least I'll try my best to when we play the game. No, you can play them on small bases. You're going to need the help. I think boys are terrible. <laughs> the help. Boy, yeah, boys ain't great. But we're bringing boys today. Uh, it's not a great list, but it's a golf list. And I think a golf list would be very good if you included Gazgul Thraka, you know obviously. I need to pause you because I just realized this video is going to go on YouTube and the review will be in the vault. Right, yeah. Um, I just made a joke about boys being terrible. You, you, 
I will go, it's too long to get into detail here. Right. I'm crunching all the numbers, doing all the math. Uh, come watch the review that's going to be in the vault afterwards for the full like opinion on boys. I don't think I don't think they're terrible. But they could be bad. I just don't want to use them. Yeah, Steve does want to use boys. So I wanted to skew into a battalion. Lots of command points. Want to show off some boys. Uh, pretty much a green tide as much as I can with the points I was, uh, well, with the points we have to play with today because we do have to do a review today as well. So it's 1,500 points, golf orcs, one battalion. It's gonna be led by this old war boss in mega armor. I'm not allowed to take a claw on him, but that claw is going to work the same as its current loadout, which is, do you remember what it's called? It's the big ax. Uh, the head chopper, no, head whopper's kill chopper? That's the relic. Oh, what are you asking? Oh. The war boss is Uj Chopper. So, Uj Chopper, yeah. Now, if you, the new kit is a mega war boss. He's a mega armor. He's got an Uj Chopper. He's got a little grot on his back shooting an uh, equivalent gun to that, essentially. So I'll be playing that with the new profile, obviously. And he's going to be running around with the unit of mega knobs. And they're all just, ignore the combi scorches. They are just custom shooters with their claws. And they're going to be probably, they're going to be riding this bone breaker. Though realizing certain, I wish I could change up a couple things, but it wouldn't actually be any better. But I think I can still make it work. This is a bone breaker. And the only reason we two clans is fighting is because those dang gits saying that this is theirs when it's been mine the whole time. My name is engraved on it. It's like, <laughs> they have literally no proof that this steam, steam roller, def roller? Def roller. The def roller is theirs. It's saying that's their property, that that mech made it, not that's goth. And now we got a wah. And now we got a wah, <laughs> so that's why we're fighting. So we got a bone breakup, and I spent the extra 20 points to make it a fortress, or a rolling fortress. Oh, I did too, sorry. Oh yeah, Steve did as well, so we both have, uh, well, he's got a battle wagon, so it just gives it a five up and vulnerable save is all it does. But you don't have to pay the command points for that anymore. And I didn't really do any more custom jobs because I didn't have the points left. <laughs> it feels like everything was very expensive. Uh, it's gonna have four shoot, super big shooters? It's four big shooters and the kill cannon on the top there. There's actually five big shooters on this thing somehow. That one is mechanically not working, so we just have those four that are working, and the, the kill cannon, and uh, yeah, that's it. I, w I wasn't too sure which custom job I wanted to do the best. The red roller got changed a little bit, not as good as it used to be. The fortress was is still the same, and that's always reliable, right? The five of them long stays, so yeah. I, stuck with, I stuck with that bad boy. For my troops, I have one, two, three, there's boys, boys, boys! They're all slug choppas and the knob has a claw, or claw equivalent, and uh, they're various numbers because of I didn't have any more in that scheme, so I have 11 there. I think we have 14 of these boys and 14 of those boys, because again, the again the studio collection, very selective, so I apologize for that. We have a bunch of Storm Boys, though. I don't even remember how many. I just pretty much took them all and paid the points for them, because they're Goth Storm Boys. I'm like, I gotta bring these guys. These guys are cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 16 Storm Boys in this <laughs> unit, apparently. And we've got 10 Tank Busters in the back. I'm not bringing the... Um, the missile pistols, tank No, pistols? nobody's bringing no. pistols or hammers. I'm not bringing pistols or hammers, it's just 10 <laughs> rockets. We got two bomb squigs, because I only have the points for two. I could have brought four. Now, now, while you're on that, I want to point out the fact that Luke and I went back and forth, even this morning, uh, we finally listed, cutting things out to fit at 1,500 points. One thing neither of us even discussed ever dropping was tank busters. Tank busters seem very good. I yes. do, like, they're still pretty good because the rockets are D3 shots now. They do get plus one hit vehicles. They're blast weapons. They're not too expensive. Their armor sucks, but like if you can get the jump with them and get your points traded up, I mean, absolutely. My tank buses are going to have 30 shots against them or them. I know, that's the problem. Like, so I was thinking of the same thing with mine against your bikes. That's 30 shots against your bikes. Yeah. Right, right. but I don't get the plus one to hit. But neither would you against these guys. Unless you kill something first, which is nice, actually. Exactly. Yeah, that's pretty good. But Steve's... The, see, if I kill two things, I can hit on fours. Right. This game might not be super like super close five turns but we're gonna try and make it super interesting i think steve's tank buses will be much more efficient because they're gonna be riding around in a battle wagon uh the free booted trait will be giving them plus one to hit if they do not shoot at a vehicle uh, i think i think his will be showing off much better but i'm gonna i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and make it work and well if you're playing goths you're still gonna want to bring a squad of tank buses now yeah. you're we're gonna find out if uh you're all flanking or uh, i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna i i'm probably gonna just put them in the tele teleporter just oh, okay. because i can put them anywhere I was thinking, I think it's one more command point to do, but I'm gonna have 12 anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna go down to 10. They're gonna go to the 10. Well, they both can do it because it's before the game. They both could, but so I, I don't wanna, I was gonna put this in the teleporter initially. This is kind of like a pre game discussion, mm -hmm. but uh, the way WOG works, you have to do it in your command phase. 
So if I come in, so if I come in at the end of the second movement phase, I cannot wog until the third turn. And I'll be honest, I don't think I'm gonna have a whole lot left by the third <laughs> turn. So I'm gonna keep him on the table, probably do a wog on turn one or two. He can wog if he's embarked, so that's the cool thing uh, okay. with that. Uh, we are going to have an elite choice in the form of a pain boy. Because uh, he was kind of cheap, and like if you he can give orcs a six up to ignore damage, right? And maybe if he ends up near the uh, mega knobs at some point in the battle, he can heal the mega knobs and uh, give them a six up to ignore damage as well. So there's some there's some maybe flexibility there. And we have a oh what's he called? He's a weird boy. He's gonna know. Ah, uh, I, I had a hard time with his second powers. There's a few I liked. Right. But I'm gonna go with the jump, and I'm gonna go with oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's plus one attack to a, a character or warpath. You, warpath. We're gonna go as a classic. Okay, that's one. the classic combo. That's the classic combo: warpath and the jump. Just because with the build I have, it's one that makes the most sense. Uh, I could go headbanger, but your characters are super tough, so it's not gonna really do anything. True. And uh, there's a couple other ones that might not matter too much here. And uh, yeah, that's uh, we have Death Dread. Yeah, the Death Dread. Love this guy, by the way. I think these guys are awesome for God. Eighty-five points yeah. with a no upgrade with with four right. claws. All all the all the claws are free, so you can have four claws with four extra attacks on them, or giving him four extra attacks at eighty-five points. What a freaking steal! The, the gain an attack. Too. What a freaking steal! They that used is. to have two attacks, and then the lower weapons were uh, saws instead of claws. Now they're all claws, all the same profile, all the good profile, and the seven attacks if you have four. You of them. can you can bring three of these in a. Dread mob, but then when you deploy them, they're all separate. You could bring nine of these into a game, 100%. I think I would for fun. Just like that'd be deep strike all of them. And Absolutely, yeah. But like, they lost the okay, K. Eerie goes to hit to them. Eerie goes to sure. Eerie goes to hit to them. They can but still ramming speed. They so. still ramming speed, and uh, they have ramshackle now. That's true. That's huge. That's huge. You have to fire strength eight or more guns to reliably do damage. Well, look, look, we, we've we've seen I guess this is the most a post game again. But we've seen how good uh, minus one damage has been on dreadnoughts. Now this is going to be against strength seven or lower, yeah. but it's almost it's every vehicle pretty much. Right. Like it's I'll, I'll take that trade off every day. Absolutely. I'm Ramshackle is a clear win. I think Ramshackle is a big big bonus for this army here, and I think Death Dreads are a big winner in this. Like I think the Dock of Jets are big winners, and I think there's a lot of big winners. And again, we go over all that in the Codex review. We it take, we haven't recorded yet, but we know it's going to be a long one. We I'll point out the the, the the bad things as well, but I think there are more good. Well, there's definitely more good than bad. Right. I really wanted to take. Uh, the crushing armor on this mega war boss, just because it's a, a model in uh, mega armor, it it gives him a four up and vulnerable save, which is you know okay, <laughs> instead of his five up. It does makes it so many charge and he does mortal wounds, as well as uh, increasing his saving throw by one. So he'd have a one up saving throw. So against a lot of AP one, that's awesome. He always has a two up save. But the super cyborg body is just way better. It reduces the damage he takes by one, or it halves it even. And uh, he has a four up in vulnerable state. So he gets to keep the four up and he just reduces the amount of damage he takes by a bunch. If you have a dock nearby him, he's just gonna be healing a bunch of wounds. And he's, not, just, he's not gonna kill him. Super Sarah Body, he's right. gonna kill him. And in, in addition to the Warlord trait, uh, Art is Nails, uh, minus one to wound him. He's a uh, toughness six. I think war bosses are toughness six. Yep. So toughness six, negative on a wound and half damage. Come on, that's like ridiculous. I know. Yeah. I, if I could put Super Sarah Body on my biker, I would, but it's infantry only. It is infantry only, that's right, yeah. So I think it is such a good. Relic and I can't combo. wait till that model comes out. I'm buying that and using that exact combo all the time. He's just, he's landing him dread forward. You just run right up the middle of the battlefield. Yeah. Like good luck killing me, right? Yeah. And if you have, especially if you have a dock nearby. Okay, well that's that's it for this. I, I'm sorry for the, the really really long pregame there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at the table and deploy our forces and get this game going. Taking a closer look at the battlefield, uh, doing the roll off. I'm gonna go end up uh, deploying on this side first. Steve's gonna be deploying on this side over here. And uh, yeah, for our mission secondaries in this one, I ended up going with Stomp Em Good, which is one of the new, it's pretty much the new orc grind them down, but it only works for melee attacks, but you get bonus points if you double out your opponent's killing. So if he has a ton of units in there, just crumping the enemy, you'll get points. I don't know how well it's gonna work out, but I'm gonna try and do it anyways. I'm also going for engagement all friends to try and get the table quarters, as well as um, psychic interrogation, because I think my psyker is only gonna be initially useful right away, and then after that, might as well try and get some points for uh, targeting an enemy character with psychic interrogation. Uh, the goal, not so much to really focus on the match play aspect of this game. Yeah, no. Just to show off the new stuff. We're, yeah. Like, yeah, this is many different things as possible. I'm, I don't even care about points. I'm going for the guns. Right, yeah, exactly. You're trying to show off the toys. I'm, we should 
we could have done open war for it too, but a lot of people play match play, so we figured we could go with that. That's and fair, we got to, even open war gate, things get skewed right away. Exactly. Weird twist. It like, could it could mess up the the idea yeah. of what we're trying to do. And plus, this way we get to show I get to show off one of the chapter uh, like the match play missions. Uh, now for you, you didn't take any because they're not really good for your build. No, no, yeah. no. I don't like any of the secondaries for shooty right now. I'll, I'll I'll put some more thought into it and refine lists. But um, I want like everybody to know too. Our thesis here is boys won't work in this regard, especially in the multiple small thing he's just doing, but look, right. we're just trying drastically different things. So don't harp on Luca if we're right and that just yeah. crumbles fast. Yeah. And if we're wrong, I would love to be wrong. Yeah, exactly. And they just yeah. crump and they do cross the field and like that'd be yeah. amazing. The problem is he's got a lot of strength six guns, massive firepower, strength five. Like, my, my, my weakest yeah. gun is strength five. Exactly. Orcs seem to be really good at countering orcs. Absolutely. That, well, the that's Elder counters been... Eldar though. Yeah. And yeah. Necrons are good at countering Necrons. It's, it's, it's always kind of been the case. It's for interesting. The design. The, the greatest weakness of an army is the same army yeah. in a lot of but at least at least no matter what happens orcs are going to win and we're going to see a, a wider variety of <laughs> exactly things that, yeah. if we had a different army instead of you know yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this so am i so am i well, what secondary oh sorry yeah I I gauge no fronts uh grind them down because i'm not out killing him i'm losing anyway right and then i took the mission where i just got to hold minimize like, minimize losses, losses. Yeah. um mostly because i think this is not going to come down to that but if i'm wrong right. I, I, i'm happy to be wrong too so exactly yeah Today's mission is Grand Tournament Strike Force Retrieval Mission. The deployment map has each player deploying on the short table edges, with a total of six objective markers, two of which are in each enemy deployment zones running horizontally 20 inches from the center of the battlefield. We have two more running 12 inches up from the center of the battlefield and 16 inches away from each other, and the last two objectives running 12 inches down from the center of the battlefield and 16 inches away from each other. The primary objective is take and hold, which is progressive. At the end of each player's command phase, the player whose turn it is scores five victory points for each of the following conditions they satisfy, for a maximum of 15 victory points. They control one or more objective markers. They control two or more objective markers. They control more objective markers than their opponent controls. This primary objective cannot be scored in the first battle round. The secondary objective in this mission is minimize losses, which is an endgame objective. It states, at the start of the battle, add up the number of units in your army. This is your army's strength. At the end of the battle, add up how many units from your army are left on the battlefield, including all units embarked within transports, but excluding all units that have been added to your army during the battle. If the total is 75% or more of your army's strength, score 15 victory points. If the total is less than 75%, but is 50% or more of your army strength, score 10 victory points. If the total is less than 50%, but is 25% or more of your army strength, score five victory points. So Steve and I are now done deploying. I'll go over my deployment first. I chose this side. Uh, Steve had much, much more drops than I did, so I gave him the advantage to see where my Death Dread and my Bone Breaker were going. You know what, real quick, I just want to do a quick swap you, you, you go ahead and do that. I got boys over here. Bone Breaker with the War Boss and the Mega Armor Boys. We got the Death Dread with the boys and more boys. We got the Weird Boy and we got the Pain Boy over here. Oh, sorry, it's actually underneath the bridge. The Pain Boy is within three of both units, though. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would love to be able, I was thinking about, like, oh, it'd be cool if I could jump the Dreadnought, but it's only core, so he's not core. Uh, can't do that. And uh, I guess that's it. In reserve, the Storm, the Storm Boys, I think, with this matchup, have to go in reserve. There's no way I could justify not putting them down mm -hmm. because the, the, the DACA Jets is going to fly and take both, uh, like, all the Storm Boys off the table. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd rather just try and get a jump with them if I can. Now, for you, we have bikes with a mech gun right there. There are three separate instances of mech gun as well. We got a mech gun back there. We got the battle wagon, more bikes. Where's the other mech gun? Oh, uh, we got one here. Oh, one I didn't see here. it. Pff, I didn't even see that mech gun. Yeah. Yeah, and over there. And we got the war bot or the speed boss with the squig gun, weird truck thing, and uh, the three flyers, Docker Jet, Docker Jet, and the mech flyer. What's it? Waz Bomb Blaster? Waz Bomb Blaster. Waz Bomb Blaster. That's it right there. And then in reserve for Steve is. Nothing. Nothing. That's right. Yeah. Because uh, everything else is in the battle wagon, including the uh, shock attack gun. Neat. Very neat. And then, of course, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, I, sorry. I, I, I spent two points on Teleporta for the tank busters, because I want them to also kind of be up, be able to show up and have a chance of doing something kind of cool before yep. they go down. Now, full disclaimer, with this in mind, we think that this side, these orcs are gonna walk all over these orcs, but this way we get to show off almost a good majority of the new codex. <laughs> yeah. Minus the beast nagas. 
Yes, we, for sure. We, we don't. We, I'm we working on them. Up. I'm working on them. Literally mm-hmm. just got everything recently, so can't do the beast naga stuff yet. All right. Soon. A little nervous. I'm hoping to go first so that I don't. I can move my stuff before I get shot. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, you that, don't think it's better for me to go first? Uh, I think no matter what the outcome is, you're gonna end up winning. By the same, but I just want to move models. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty much it. Do you want to roll off? You want to do an even Steven? We'll do an even Steven. Okay. Even it works for me. Even Steven. So if it's even, I'm going first. If it's odd, Luke is going first. Luke is going first. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, turn one. Goffs. I actually don't think I have anything to do in my command phase. This is when I would call my walk. I think I'm gonna wait till turn two for the old wag. So, the old wag. <laughs> the old wag. We're gonna we're just gonna go right on a movement because we don't score in the first battle round, and we are going to uh, advance everything forward. I actually don't know what to do with this objective back here. I might just abandon it. No, I'll leave the death threat on it. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get a command point. I'll go up to 11. Steve's at six because of the double non... Spearhead outrider. Yeah. I think we're gonna keep them there. We're gonna advance these boys forward. So they're gonna go five plus... They're gonna go five plus one. They're gonna go six, that's bad. So bo- those boys are there. We're gonna move the bone breaker up to probably around here. Let's see if I can't do this. I'm not gonna go the. F- I'm gonna go about 11 inches to about there. I'm not really saving myself anything by doing that. We're just gonna go like that. There we go. Bone breaker to there. We're just gonna hope it's super hard body will keep it going. By the way, every time I hope for that with any model of toughness to eight or more like a monolith, it never works. So I don't expect this thing to live past the first it's, it's turn. Dead. It might be dead. <laughs> go to the death dread, which we are going to obviously advance an extra three. Making a bunch of rattling sounds as it moves up here. That's hard. To, it's really hard. There we go. go there. Advancing these goth boys right there. They're gonna go an additional six. Hey, that's not bad. They get to go eleven. We're gonna end over there. We're gonna go forward with the pain boy as well. An extra three. Gonna need, I guess, if here we go, health with runs as well, like he used to do back in the day. It was, it was like an old pseudo fleet. Yeah. I think it was yeah. just actually fleet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's certainly dead by ending up over there. But we're gonna try, and. Uh, we're gonna advance these guys forward, and then we're gonna advance the weird boy, but we're gonna try and warp path and to jump them just to get some uh, preliminary damage off. Okay, they go one, and then I'm just gonna roll the weird boy for, uh, they're just gonna go up to like here. Did you walk? No, 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 I did not walk. Do you wanna advance? Oh yeah, I guess they won't be able to. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I even... No, it's yeah. I make the yeah. mistake all the time. That's a good point. I never even thought about yeah. that. I, I, that's, I don't play. I'll, I'll move five, I guess. Yeah, exactly. You did not. That, you did not advance. Yeah, no advancing. <laughs> oh wow, that's a good point. Yeah, good catch. That's how they're gonna end their move. We're gonna go right onto the psychic phase, where we're gonna start with a warpath just to give them an extra attack before we send them off. Oh, we. So they have a new rule. Actually, I should clarify why I'm casting two powers. I didn't. Up the old way was to upgrade with a stratagem, I believe. Mm-hmm. Now. Uh, he gets to cast one additional psychic power if he has 20 models within 12 inches. He's got this unit of 14, and then these guys on the other side are providing the extra 20 models to give him the second power to cast. This will be the only turn he'll be capable of doing that, by the way, but we wanted to show it off. I just hope I don't fail my psychic powers. Though on the downside, the jump is 7 to cast, and it was really nice when you got the bonuses to your casting roll for all the boys nearby. So we're going to start with the Warpath. Dang it! I don't need that one as bad, but we need to jump more. So we fail that one. We're going to attempt to jump. We got it. Just. <laughs> you have no way to stop Psychic Power. Uh, nope, nope. You're All right. free to go. To jump. So we're going to choose this unit of core boys. We're going to pick them up and put them more than nine inches away from enemies. We're probably honestly just going to go right here. Ish. They're going to end there. More than nine inches away from the Zap Mech Gun and the Bikers over here. Uh, a much better spot would have been over there, but Steve has screened it with the uh, two Mech Guns, so I can't quite get in there. I'd love to get the Bone Breaker, but not today. Uh, so we got to jump on them there. That's every psychic power, so we're gonna go into shooting, where I guess we'll fire their sluggas into the bikes, because why not? Correct it a little bit, I'm actually gonna put them here, because I do want to get some jump on the bikes. Because hitting that thing is just gonna be overkill, and if I tag the bikes, they're actually gonna beat me up in close combat. Because they're pretty much just me on a bike, so they have the they have slugger. They could there's a there's a strategy called uh, get stuck in lads where they could pile in further and then get a lot more attacks on them. So I think I'm just gonna take the overwatch. We'll see what happens. We're gonna end up there, so it's a nine inch charge to both. And uh, we're gonna go with the sluggers into the bikes. Fives to hit. Daka, 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 daka. Look at that. We got a hit. Oh, we got three. Oh my gosh. Yeah, one wound. I'm playing two things. I'll put it on a biker in the back. One damage. He's a wound. Oh, you guys are awesome. Uh, the only other thing we had to fire is the bone breaker. I might as well. Oh, you were minus one to hit me. Don't worry, it's fine. Okay, that's fair. Bikes yeah. are smoky. You know what? You're right. Uh, I only actually had one six. I actually don't even think I had a six. You can take your wound back. I didn't. I had fives only. I feel like there was definitely only at, at very most one six. We're gonna go. We're gonna fire everything from the bone breaker into the bikers, and uh, but they're negative one to hit. 
Yeah. I guess we're on sixes. <laughs> yeah. We are within 18 inch range. We do get to fire the big shooters at their DACA profile, the big one. So it's five shots per shooter. So it's 20 shots. Ooh. And then the kill cannon at them. We'll do the kill cannon first. D6 shots. It's a blast. We get four shots. They are negative one to hit. So sixes. We got a hit, which wounds at minus uh, two. Minus two. Uh, six up save. Oh yeah, they have four up armor. We do nope. two damage. And all the big shooters. Dak, 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 sixes. Oh, heck yeah. That's damn orky of them. <laughs> we wound three times. I'm done five. You wound. Oh, three times, yeah. yeah. What? Fours. Oh, okay. oh, geez, I almost killed two bikes there. Heck yeah, hitting heck on sixes. Yeah. I wish I had killed two bikes there. Anyways, uh, that's it. We're done shooting. Uh, we do have a charge to declare here, and I assume you're going to overwatch. I'm going to overwatch. Yeah, so we're going to declare a charge with these boys into both the mech gun and the bikers, but we're obviously going to do an overwatch with the bikers. Yeah. So Steve is going to go down to five, I guess. Because he's... Yes. Yeah, you already tracked it. Nice. Yep. These are also hitting on sixes. So lots of... Uh, they have DACA guns, I guess? Yes, they have two each. Nobody's in uh, DACA range, obviously, because you have to be more than nine away. Right. But, uh, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. Strength six or five? Strength five. So fours. I'm T5. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a boy! Wow, oh, there's no three. Three. Enemies. Six up saves. We make two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kill Man, boys are broken. Boys are busted! <laughs> All right, so let's uh, see what the new ear we go can do. Here's a secret. It's real bad compared to the old one. Oh! Hey, eight. Reroll for here we go. Yeah, you have to reroll. Buddy, you, got, you need it. Oh! Oh, come on! That could have been so good. <laughs> yeah, that would have been so good. Oh, wah, wah. I, th I think it would have you. <sighs> I would have at least got the Alpha Strike with the Power Claw, maybe. Yeah, I would four up armor. You hear six up armor? Yeah, you would have outfought me, but maybe if I killed a few bikes, I don't know. Dang it! That is it. They tried. Sorry, folks. That is no morale. They only lost one boy. They are good to go. So I think. Actually, what's the leadership of a boy unit now? Uh, there's. I think it's seven, but now I'm double seven. check. Yeah. They completely changed mob rule and uh, how it works. So uh, leadership for things are pretty devastating on the orc side now. So seven for the knob. They're not running on one model dead. I forgot to note, I do get two points for engaging off fronts because uh, these guys are to jump over here, and uh, that's uh, about it. <laughs> no. Uh, only three table quarters. I didn't get anything for killing anything. I didn't do psychic interrogation, and you can't get the primary on the first turn. Steve's gonna go up to six on his turn. We are gonna declare a speed wall. Speed wall! Speed wall! That's from uh, the war trike over here. Yeah. So what is a speed wall? Okay, so I can advance and fire all my assault weapons without a penalty on my vehicles and bikers. They don't have any. Yeah, there's all DACA weapons now. Pretty much all the old assault weapons are DACA weapons. I'm going to gain uh, an extra attack from my DACA weapons and an extra run from my DACA weapons. And that's on certain uh, bikes and vehicles? Bikes and, and vehicles. Bikes and vehicles. My army happens to be bikes and vehicles. And that's going to last until the next, Steve's next command phase in the second battle round. But then starting from that command phase to the third one, I believe you just keep the armor penetration characteristic yes. bonus. Yeah. So the, the wall dies down a wee bit. Steve's going aggressive. The yeah. bikes are moving forward. I checked how far you explode. It's uh, it's a thing. Uh, that's fair. Okay, yeah. But the, uh, I'm not gonna on the bone breaker. Yeah, I'm not gonna hide from it. I'm able to do anything better than that. Probably. I'm a big fan of the orc bikers right now. I, I'm I think the orc really bikers are uh, really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. They're all zipping forward. They're gonna get on that objective with those boys around the corner as the main target for their eight million shots. This guy's gonna peek on up. That gun's gonna move a wee bit. Bonebreaker specifically does not want to move to keep its, uh, n well, to not take negative damage for the tank buses inside. I want to peek out. And then these, yeah, these bikes jump forward. Mech gun peeks out a wee bit. The war trike. I don't, I don't have a purpose yet, so he'll wait. Uh, no, I can't fit through. He'll stick, he's still the stick point. The Waz bomb blast the jet. Bomb. I mean, all his, wep all his weapons are blast too. I can guarantee you it's a bunch of shots. So he's going to turn and fly to that rooftop. That is suspicious if I've ever seen it. Oh my goodness, my man. Yeah, that's Steve's model, though. I'm not putting it there. <laughs> this deck jet. We're going this way. We're going to beat up my weird boy. I don't know if I am. Oh, that's fair, too. <laughs> I took a secondary with him. Like, ah, whatever. He could die. So I just want to maximize my deck is, right? Right, because you want to get shots on them. And then finally, this was a turn. With that flyer there, no psychers, we're onto the shooting phase. Where do we start? I'm gonna start off with the, uh, one of these mech guns because they simply, this one here actually will go into the bone breaker because it can't ever benefit from the plus one. But it can trigger. But it can trigger. So we're gonna fire it at the bone breaker. D6 shots. So it's it's gonna four. be four. Not a bad start. It's aggression, so it hits on fours. And we have 
Uh, three hits, very nice. And we're strength eight. Yeah, so yeah, fours. Fours. We have nothing on the first one. Hmm. Yeah, I do want to reroll it. That is a success. So you're down to five, and we have a wound. He's really good, so it's going right to the fortress rule. I believe in the power of the wall. Oh, immediately. What's the damage on this? D6. Yeah, all right. It's a four. four. 16 wounds goes down. It was four, right? Yep. 12 mm -hmm. wounds remain. This med gun is going to go after him because there's no other good targets. Yeah, he's poking out this side here. He's going to take a shot over there. D6 shots. It's four. Not bad. Fours. Oh, it takes a mortal wound. Yeah, and uh, threes. That is a wound. And it's strength. Uh, it's minus three. Take the six up safe. All right. Six up. No. One damage. One damage. Well, Ramshackle wouldn't have mattered there because I believe that's strength eight. Down to seven on the dread. And then one mortal wound on this mech gun because of the custom mega blaster, I believe yeah. it's called. And then we still have one more mech gun to resolve. I'm actually going to jump over because the other mech gun here can target that uh, dread. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see if these tank busters can finish off that bone breaker. It, yeah, it does, they already get plus one to hit for targeting a vehicle, so the freebooted trait here wouldn't matter in this regard. So all the tank busters and stuff, 10 D3 rockets now is how the rockets work. I like that. That's a great roll. Jeez. And they're blasts, too. Not that it matters for this, but fours to hit because they get plus one to hit. They did not move, or the bone, uh, the battle wagon itself didn't move. And fours to wound. Okay. Not great. We got five ups on this. Oh, we make two of them. We still take six damage, though. Six damage. We have six wounds left. All right. Well, we survived that. There's still more to come. <laughs> After that mech gun. Yeah. In, we'll the bone in the bone breaker. D6 shots from that mech gun. It's going to be... Dang, this, this thing is keeping you up there, man. Right, over here. Fours. Yeah. And fours. One. Oh, yes. And fortress. Hey, four. well, I actually made it with a six anyways, probably. What's the AP on that four? Uh, what did I fire? That was only AP three. Ah, well, okay. Still feels cool. And that mech gun rolled a one to hit, so it's going to take a mortal wound. Yay. Okay, well, we survived that. There's still much more to go, though. I know you probably want to give that guy a plus one to hit up there. I, 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 he's the most likely to do it. His yeah. guns are strength nine. Um, trying to try to go for, like, I don't want to, I think I have a lot, you know what, I got a lot of DACA, I can spare one jet into, uh, into the yeah. weird knob, weird boy, absolutely, so it's a six, these are upgraded to have six super shooters, by the way, and we're going to put uh, all of them, you want to put all of them into him? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I want, I, want, I want that plus one to hit. I want the plus one to hit, I get that. It's just so many shots, each one of those guns has an extra shot because of the speed wall right now. These are fives to hit. Yes. Whoa, whoa, look at all that. These are fours to threes to wound. It's strength six. Strength on six. I think five. Oh, you're dead. These are minus two. These are minus two. Ooh, that's right. Minus the speed one wall. build and speed wall. You double killed them. <laughs> that does unlock the free Buddha trait. Very nice. And now for shooting. Yeah, now for actual <laughs> shooting. Everything that's a free Buddha, not a grot, gets plus one to hit now. Right, uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go with um, the actual battle wagon. No, the guy inside the the big oh, mech the gun. Shock that gun. Who's not hitting on threes? Yeah, because he's a mech's hit on fours, I believe, typically. Yeah. yeah. So he's upgraded to have two D3 shots. Okay, so it's th three, shots. three shots. Oh, as I roll my strength. Right, the strength is going to be 10. Very nice. We're hitting on threes. <laughs> oh! Three and more. we're winning on threes. Oh! All right, we got the battle wagon still. Yeah, we'll do the battle wagon. All right. He can't do it, though. He's got a boy, he's got a kill cannon, man. Uh, Look at that. Not with that attitude, he can't do it. You know what? We'll just, we, we got to burn it. We'll go to this flyer. Flyer? Yeah. All right. Is it everything in the battle wagon? I think so. I don't want to risk not killing him. All right. He's got a lot of bullets. We're going to start off guns. with the Teleporta Mega Blastas. It's D6 shots each. So we have eight shots on that. And these are, this is not a DACA weapon. It's like an assault or heavy weapon. It's a salt or heavy weapon. So these are hitting on threes now because, because free Buddhas. Free Buddhas. All right. Got a couple ones in there. Ooh, that's a good roll though. And then these are wounding on threes or strength nine. Strength nine. Four. And six. these are. D3 plus three. Yeah, but they're minus two. So you have a five up in one. Five up, yeah. Fortress! Ah, I make two of them. Uh, that's it's automatically kill. dead. Yeah, he's dead. The, unfortunately, it's D3 plus three damage, so minimum six. Does it explode? Yes. You want to? I don't think Kareem's gonna really help you. No, not really. But I could. Uh, let, let me see, tell you. Let, let me see. tell you. All right, it's a wagon. We're gonna spend two command points on Kareem just to show off some cool new things. I'm gonna go down to nine command points here. The way this works is, if it's not in engaged range of any enemies, you and it explodes, you get to do a normal move of up to six inches with that model to try and get a little bit more value out of your explosion. Now, in this case, I'm not gonna get a lot of value on Steve's end, but what I can do is save some of these boys from the explosion because they're, uh, that's within six there. Is it D6 more wounds or D3? It's D6 within six. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna careen him so that he's actually gonna careen over in this direction, like that. So he has to make a full move costing two CP because he's a wagon, otherwise it'd be one. 
I'm gonna try and measure this out, but I kind of want him like this. Like that, I guess, actually. But I want to be more than six away from those boys. So we're actually gonna back it up. That's where he careens to. We are gonna go ahead and uh, do D6 mortal wounds to those bikes. Explosion! It's three mortal wounds, so it just kills one bike and puts one down to one wound. Then we disembark the payload inside. The war boss just jumps out as it explodes. The mega knobs jump out as well, but they might not be so healthy. Oh, they're all perfectly fine. Look at that. They're all good, but unfortunately this is destroyed. But that's okay. It, uh, it, it served its purpose. It showed off no rules. <laughs> Jokes on you, you just destroyed your own property, nerd. Nerd. Uh, I guess the battle way is going to fire the war boss. Heck yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, D6 shots is going to be four. All right. Um, so, we're hitting a force. Four, it's free Buddhas. Free Buddhas. All right, we got three didn't hits. Matter. Didn't matter, okay. <laughs> uh, strength eight. So, so we need one threes, but you're hard as nails. Down to fours, yep. Oh, hard as nails. Hard as nails. That, I believe, is an invulnerable save. Oh, he fails that. And he uh, takes two damage, which I re use. Reduced one. down to one. And he's down to six wounds left. Hard as nails, that one is. This bike squad is going ahead and fire into these boys. I believe the whole front Ooh. row is going to be um, in Dakar range. So that's going to be, is it six shots per 12 per model then? It's 12 per model. Because it's normally five, but because of speed wah, you don't need to be near any character or anything. They're just going fast and hard. Uh, it's going to be six shots at the Dakar range. So 12 per model. So 12, 24, 36, 48. And then the back ones, are they only three normally? Yes. So they're four on each side. So it's eight from the ones in the back. <laughs> So 48, 56, 64, and then uh, 72 shots with that squad of bikes. Now, people at home running, oh, I wish Luca brought 30 man bricks of boys. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> orcs, what if Orcs is a good counter to 30 man bricks? But to top it all off, these are hitting on fours. There's a free Buddhas. The clanless. Got a heck of a roll over. Uh, here. Fours, Jaga! Bullets! Fours to hit because they free Buddhas. Okay, so that's about half hit. These no. are forced to wound. Yeah, you are tough this five. I am strength five. 19 wounding hits. All right, well, let's just keep this nice and simple. We're going to kill the guys that aren't in cover because they're all probably dead anyways, but at least it saves me a certain amount of dice I can roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that guy in cover? No. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then those ones are in cover. So I have nine more dice to roll for these guys in cover. The knob will be the last one to die. Now, typically the Daka gun does not get AP, but it's speed wah time, baby. So bikes and vehicles, they get the extra AP. And we are looking for six ups here. We're gonna save one, so that means the knob's dead, plus it's three homies. <laughs> Ooh, my boys! My boys! Ooh. Any left? They're all dead, you killed all the boys. Okay. Boys dead. Love it, that is so cool. The screen clearing potential on orc bikers and Daka jets is astronomically high. Uh, the bikers seem pretty good. I'm, I'm liking the bikers a lot. I'm liking I went and bought every biker at the store already. <laughs> ah! After those bikers shot, we're going to the rucker truck squig buggy. And I'm like, ah, I can kill, I, I can kill these knobs. But I think I got time, right? Sure. I don't even know what that vehicle does. I don't, I don't know what any of those weird speed freak Okay, do. so we're gonna put the, um, there's 2d6 from the heavy one going into that unit. Okay. And then uh, 3d6, I'm uh, sorry, the d6 went into that unit, so looking in range. Okay. We're just gonna split fire, does that make sense? Sure. We're locked in. If anyone's curious, that does not require line of sight to fire its weapons. That's uh, like a pretty good addition in the army, I'd say. I'd like, I'd, I'd, I'd like to bring like one or two of those to every game. I'd the thing say. is, these are just, they're minus two, two damage. I, maybe I should go after your knobs. You could. I mean, the knobs have three wounds, but... The, the, the heavy one will go after the knobs. It's the only thing in range. Okay. And the small one's going after there. Uh, you're born 11 models. Uh, the boys here? Yes, it's, I am. It's blast. Oof. So we're hitting on fours. Free Buddhas. And it's plus one to wound, and it's strength uh, five. Is it the, yeah, they're both strength five, so threes to wound. Why does it get plus one to wound? It's plus one to wound because I upgrade to nitro squigs. Oh, it's... Uh, you know what we forgot to talk about? Our spe did you bring a specialist unit? I did not. Oh, you! Oh, you didn't bring a specialist. I did not, because you lose culture. They and, lose culture. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I brought boom boys. You want what? I brought boom boys. Oh, oh my, uh, nice. Yeah, because the goss don't—they don't really care. The, yeah, the I would do boom boys for them, but like yeah. for three Buddhas, I don't want to do any specialist cultures. Okay, very nice. Interesting. Because yeah. you never know Buddhas. You could have Gretchen, I guess, as a unit, and make them the obsec Gretchen, and that wouldn't really. True, but they're yeah. You could just have like just standing there or something. I don't know. I guess it gives that all that you want to hit. So three orcs for me. <laughs> three orcs are dead. Yeah. Oh, it's AP two. Bloop. Bloop. Let's just keep them knocked over for purposes of morale. 
And then into the Mega Knobs is 2d6. Ooh. Ooh, I don't want my Mega Knobs today. That's the only thing I care about, my man. <laughs> You're gonna try and make me sad over here. Four's the hit. That's, that's pretty good. Is there even a single four? There's two more hits in there because of the pre-boot. It's very nice. Uh, it's strength five, but plus one wound because of Nitro Squigs. Ah, come on, get out of here. Minus two. All right, the knobs think they're nice and safe. I guess they're, does it, does it even recover? Uh, I don't think so. All right, so we get three up saves then, because we we're playing these as obstacles. So we will have some cover against them. good, yep. So three ups. Oh, no, it didn't even matter. They uh, are two damage each. So uh, we kill one and a half. Yeah, you're going to kill one and wound the other. Uh, I have a lot of command points. I was trying to save some, da oh, dang, they didn't work. I'm down to eight. So I lost the one. That's not so bad. We're losing you, and you, my friend, are down to one wound. Well, they thought they were nice and safe until Squigs came hailing down upon them. What okay. are we firing next? The Spiker Squad's gonna go, we're split our fire. Ooh, jeez. Oh, now, you know, now I have to roll the dice because I was gonna pull them whatever you targeted. <laughs> three of them are gonna go here, the are gonna five are gonna go there. Okay, uh, so wait, these three are going here? Yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. All right, makes sense. And they get the extra attack for the speed wall, mm -hmm. which is six shots per gun, so it's 12, 24, 36 into them. And then the rest are a little bit less shots because they're not quite in range. That guy is definitely in range, but the rest probably aren't. Maybe that guy. Scratch out. I'm only gonna put two in there. Okay, so we'll have six into them then. And the front two are within nine for their uh, extra shots and the DACA weapons. Are we firing into them first? Yeah, put two okay. into them on fours because, you know, free Buddhas. Free Buddha is very nice. And fours, MT5. But no save against these. Uh, oh, five. Five? Yeah, yeah, there's a fifth one. All right, well, that's not bad. We can always charge them and kill them off, too. One, two, three, four, five. Again, they have AP because of speed wall. And then we have 12, 24 in the them, and then the remaining four have a little bit less shots. Eight shots, I believe. Yeah, eight shots. So eight, 16, 24. So 48, uh, 50, oh geez, 50, like six shots. <laughs> fours. And fours. And into those boys, you said 18? 13. 13, that's right, I have 13 in my hand. 13 when he hits, but we got a pain boy right there. So six up to two. He never does anything. He never does anything. So there is, I think you actually killed the whole unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a, uh, there's like 11 wounds worth of models, 12 wounds worth of models there because of the knob. They just get gunned down. Now, I think, ironically, the amount of, this was the limit of boys I could bring, by the way, because of our collection of Slugger Choppers. <laughs> I think that there is some potential here. I'm seeing it. I'm feeling it. Steve doesn't agree with me yet. But had we'll have I, a nice discussion. Yeah, we're gonna have a nice discussion. But if I had literally 300 boys and like a couple pain boys and like a war boss and maybe a, a couple KFS. Yeah, but three, you can't afford 300 boys. You cannot. How many? Oh, how many is there are nine points a model. Right. No, not 300 boys. Not 300 <laughs> boys. But like 150 boys. Yeah. 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 I mean, but, but morale's gonna get you. Oh, whatever. You, yeah, you, you lose a dude people, here. You lose a dude there. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe. You know, we'll do some Maybe, 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 maybe. No, I don't want. I don't want. I'm it. feeling. I'm feeling. I'm just, I wish. I wish I had the boys. This Daka jet is gonna go ahead and turn off Luca's ability to walk. No, I was hoping you said you weren't gonna do it. I wasn't, but I have nothing. There's but, nothing left uh, to yes. shoot. All right, no, he's fine. He's got cover. It's AP two. We're fine. Yeah, three up save. Three up save. He's hard to hurt. He's hard to hit. Ish. Force to hit him, I guess. Still. Fours. It'll be fours and strength spot. Fives because you're minus one to wound. It'll also uh, be fours and fours. You know what? I put him there arrogantly. I think he's still fine, though. Oh, but he can get charged by them. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. Well, I'm hoping he's, he's going to try and take him out this turn. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. <laughs> Aka Jet is going to have 42 shots into my war boss. All right, what you know are we what? Uh, You know what? We want to see the Oh, go, go for the dread. I don't even know. I don't even know. What do you think? What do you think? Steve <laughs> you can't tell what the better choice is the dread or the war boss. Well, if I kill your war boss, it's way better for me. It would 100% is way, 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 way better. Because then you can't walk. But he's also hard to kill. And you have to commit, you probably have to commit to a charge to kill him. Well, I, I think we're going to have to do better one. Okay. So, okay, well, what's the math on this? 42 shots. We're going to have 21 hits. 21 hits, and then yeah. seven wounds. And then you're going to make two are going to go through. You have what? Four wounds left. Four. They got charge. The I can do it. You could do it. I'll just kill the Dreadnought. I'll, I'll let you all. I'll let you all once. Oh, heck yeah. Merciful Steve. All right, so we're hitting the Dreadnought on fours. Actually, honestly, I'd rather you shoot the War Boss and charge the War Boss, because I think I have a plan. But this does this. Depends on how this roll goes, interferes with my plan a little bit. Do you want me to hit the war boss? No, no, that's fine, that's fine. I would, you know, you, you go for whatever you want. Well, I, 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 I want you to be able to do something. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do something. I got plan. I got plans and plans. Okay, look, we'll go for that war boss. We'll go for the war boss. So, fives the wound because your art is nails. Art is nails. 
I think you were wounding the Dreadnought on fives too. So like it was oh, the same roll. The same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Dreadnought's gonna have a oh, five up a save. save. The Warboss has a three up. And the, yeah, exactly. Because he's got uh, one up save right now because of the cover. Oh, he takes three damage though. Is he? Oh no. He's got three wounds left. Oh. Three wounds remain on him. I think we've done it. I think we've shot everything. Yeah, that's everything. I didn't hear no bell. Wait, where are we charging? Where are we charging? What's up, uh, man? They're gonna hear them. All right, bring it on. Eight. Eight. Okay, so because there's a death dread alive, we're gonna charge like way over to this side. Oh wait, come on. Come on. Uh, Charging like that because these free Buddhas is cunning but brutal. Yeah. And then we're going for your war boss. Yeah, I'm not gonna overwatch yeah. it. Uh, here, I'll just roll a little bit over here. A... Ooh, you know what? I wouldn't... Nah, I didn't play. Well, you had a plan? I'm gonna just charge them instead. All my mega knobs. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and block the path or attempt to. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because you do want to try and delay me as much as you can. Steve is gonna elect to attack over here against the boar boss first. They have a plus one to hit if I kill the boss, and if not, uh, whatever, interrupt. All right, exactly, exactly. Let's do this. All right, these are the regular bikers with their choppas attacking. Hitting on threes, I guess, right? There's no boss nearby. There's no war boss on foot nearby. This is the up. moment I realized, wait a second, I'm winning on sixes, I shouldn't have charged. <laughs> well, you got the power class. Hey, you know what, I hit a bunch of sixes. Yeah. And you have two. Oh, two winning hits. Minus one. Minus one, so we go to three ups again. Loving it. Uh, I think, do I care? I got a lot of command points. I'm at eight, I'm gonna reroll. There we go. We made just one, that keeps me at three wounds because the power claws are also only gonna do one damage to him. So, power claws up next. I have seven command points. Power claws on fours yeah. and a th fours? Yeah, the six wounds, yeah. So it would be threes normally, and then I got invulnerable save, which I passed. Oh, zero damage, they charge zero damage. Do you want to interrupt? Whoa. I will spend two command points for counter offensive. Not over here. But over here, baby. Goths getting stuck in. Let's do this. They're going to pile in. Give me an update on the command points and the score and the turn. Still one. <laughs> right, so we got five, well, four boys and a knob swinging in there. Uh, we're just going to do the boys first, I guess. Now nah, we'll do the knob. Now he's got three attacks, hitting on mm, fours with his claw. But we's Goths. Mm -hmm. We actually have four hits. Now, I want to point out that I could have spent the command point on... I can't remember. It's the Goth strategy, but it's fives and sixes. Ooh! It's, but I just figured you wouldn't the, have done I it. I wouldn't have done it. No, I know. But I really wish, you know, hindsight. These are strength 10. Uh, we are toughest five, so two. Ah! Is it minus three? Yeah, so it kills one bike. Uh, yeah. I like crumple uh, bike. Blah, blah. Boys are two attacks each, but the choppers are an extra attack. Now, you charge me as Goths. I do not get the extra strength, so I'm still strength four. Threes! And we have an extra hit because of the six, so we'll just take that one miss out. And fives to wound. We do. Oh, nice. We have six wounds. Five wounds. I have up save because you're on bikes. I kill a bike. Yep. Oh, exactly one bike. Take that. Hey, you may proceed to attack over here if you okay. would like to. One, two, three, four, five regular dudes. Oh, they are hitting on threes. They are strength four, so we on fives. We have four, four wounds, but those are AP one, so that does kill off my the boys. One, two, three, four. I have just my knob left, and you're not. So oh, nice. So he's hitting on fours. Oh, got a couple hits. And threes. No, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Is he not strength 10? He is. Should be twos. Bam. Oh yeah, you're right. Bam. So you clear him. But it cost you a couple bikes, never forget. All right, now my mega war boss gets to swing with his, I think it's Uj Chapa. Five attacks with his Uj Chapa equivalent, hitting on twos, no sixes though. And wounding on threes. Uh, that is, uh, kills one bike off. Is there a wounded One bike? guy's wounded. So I kill one bike with that, and I kill another bike off as well. So he just cuts down two bikes. That's it. To the end, we're gonna we're gonna use, Steve's gonna use his once per game insane bravery to spend two command points to automatically pass on those bikers. You only feel on the six, but I want them to stay alive over there. Over here, uh, they're, they're fine. They're fine. They only lost a handful. And that's it. Now, what? Do you, okay, you have engaged in all fronts for two points as well. And grind them down. Oh, actually, yeah, I think you. Oh, maybe this is the only one. Or is that it, one's not in it. That one's not in it. It's, no, it's okay, one, so. only the two points. So you get two points and then grind them down. So you have five points. So the score is two to five for Steve as we go on to Goth's turn two, folks. How many, how many primer are you getting there, Luca? I'm getting zero, I think. I think we're past the point of the match play game. We're just here to zug. Hey, right, folks, we are officially done with points in this game. <laughs> we are just here to crump. The one main <laughs> objective is gone. You destroyed it. The only thing we are fighting over is now destroyed. So we are gonna just keep on up fighting. Luca, do you think orcs in ninth edition might be a shooting army again? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm, I want to stand by either like 120 beast naga boys. Okay. Yeah. We have to see how that works. Or, or, or like 150 boys 
And I'm thinking KFFs, even though they're only six up in vulnerable states, yeah. but you, you pair that with a, a pain boy and like a six up in rollable, six, six, that then... can save some damage, right? <sighs> there might be something there. Yeah, there I'm not might gonna, be something honestly, there. Honestly, there actually might be something there. I would love it. We I have to do some. Oh, man. Oh, I love yeah, it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, All right, yeah. we're going to go. We're going to go into my turn. I get a command point. I'm up six. Six. We're at six. We're really, we're really doing it now, folks. You can't walk some with engagement ranger. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's true. I know. You killed my vibe, my man. You killed my vibe. Wah! Wag! Wag! All right. So all core, orc, and things. There's probably more to it. Orc core uh, are going to be able to advance and charge. Not that I got much of that going on right now, but you know that's fine. But the other thing is orc units get an extra attack on their profile for this battle round. And that will progress to my next battle round as well. So we are here to fight. And uh, I guess that's it for the hero phase. We're gonna go on to a movement where we are going to advance the pain boy because he's got to fix up that uh, that big boy there. He's gonna go two. Okay, well, that's not great. This is unfortunately a little poultry on the advancing aspect. There's a plus one damage trap for them for the one, like three damage each. Oh, there is a plus one damage threat. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, 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 there is, yeah. So he's gonna end up moving there. We are going to move the uh, Mega Knobs just a little bit. I mean, they, I could advance them, but I'd rather just fire their uh, custom shooters and then keep them in range of the Pain Boy here, because he's totally not gonna murder one of these Mega Knobs. Well, you have to you, only need three, you need three inches. You can go like all the way up. Like, yeah. Oh, might as well take it. Might as well take what you can. And I, I do want to make a line because the Pain. Oh, he's not core. He can't advance and charge. He's probably not core. There's no way the Pain Boy is core. Hey, core character. Oh, I might, might be core character, actually. So the Dreadnought's going to move his six. I've already measured that. He's going to go there. He's going to end up there. Now, the Dreadnought is not core. He cannot advance and charge. But that's okay. Yeah. Make a line with that so that the Pain Boy can charge in, or at least attempt to charge in, even though he rolled pretty poorly. I feel like I should re-roll it, but no, I want to show off some strats. And the Dreadnought shows up over there, and honestly, folks, uh, I think I'm... Uh, Why is the Dreadnought not core? Why can't he advance and charge? That's lame. Well, you know what the sad part is? That Space Green Dreadnought's our core. It's just, I, the Death Dread is not Would broken. it have been broken if that thing could advance and charge? No. No. I don't think so. Uh, maybe. He moved six. I mean, he moved six. 85 dude. points, though. Oh, that's pretty, pretty good. He's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. It's pretty <laughs> Storm boys descend in this little corner, more than nine away from the bikes, more than nine away from that buggy there. There's not really a great spot for them because this guy's there and that guy's there. Stupid we flood flyers. The table. Yeah, flyers are always super good at doing that. And I got to find a good spot for my tank hunters. I have, like, not really a great spot in general. They could show up and, like, try and kill a flyer, but uh, other than that, that's, like, their only real option. You, you know save them. Yeah, I might as well. I will. Screw this guy. And I teleport in some support for the goth clan here uh, from uh, these uh, boom boys who are my tank hunters. Now, this is a specialist unit. I can't remember the actual rule for it, but you're allowed to have one per detachment and they lose they lose the clan keyword and then they gain uh, whatever relevant keyword. Specialist attack, specialist, specialist unit. The specialist are. unit. So they're going to be boom boys, right? Yeah, and then they get an extra AP on the rockets. So they're AP3 instead of AP2, but they don't really care about the golf trait, so it's a, not a bad trade off. Boom boys, uh, that's it for movement. We're going to go right on to shooting, and we're already right here. So boom boys unloading on the Docker jet. Now, we moved, so we're negative one to hit. This thing is airborne, it's negative one to hit, but we get plus one to hit vehicles, so in the end, we're still hitting on sixes. I don't believe there's any real strats for a tank. Oh, well, there is a tank. You can throw a tank bomb if they're charging a vehicle, but or a tank buster bomb or whatever. There's a strat in that regard, but there's no there's no way to help. Two three mortal wounds for the tank buster bomb. Yeah. So, Bam! so we have three, six, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21 shots. All right. So we are hitting on here's 11. Of the 20, hitting on sixes. We have three hits plus. Oh, we got seven hits. <laughs> Now these do wounded on threes, and there's no save? Yep. Oh well, that's a three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 damage to him. All right, let's see if I explode something green. Yeah, please no, explode. No, 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 no more Kareens. No, <laughs> only I showed off, not you. <laughs> <laughs> so he, boom, he just flies over, they teleport in. Tank <laughs> are pretty good, man. I know, like hitting on six is so many shots, who cares, right? Yep. It's just, this This is reminiscent of old orcs. There's like no re-rolls, yeah. there's nothing. It's just, just, you're fishing for sixes. I just, I show up and I hit on sixes and fives, and that's what's up. Like, that's, like, <laughs> that's, it. that's what's up. That's it, I love it. It's super funny and super bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not fire their pistols. I'm not gonna fire the Scorcha, and we are gonna, we, we are gonna fire some custom shooters that can into the mech gun. I don't even know what the profile is on us. We'll find out. Before I go any further, though, the Pain Boy is supposed to attempt his uh, Pain Saw. Oh right, I believe. don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. Oh bless. It, it just heals. It heals two wounds. It fixes this guy back up to full wounds, and then he also provides the three inch aura of ignoring if when it wounds out. Oh. Okay, he ignores on a six. Actually, what's up? What's up? The oxy, this player. 
Oh, of course I could fire at him. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, custom shoot is at the Wazbob Blasted it's, Jet. It's four shots each. Okay, so we have four, eight, 12, 16 shots on sixes. All right, and the, if anyone's curious, the war boss's aura plus one hit is only melee attacks. So that'd be wild if it was otherwise. These hit on sixes because you're flying high in the sky and you're tough in a seven. No, tough six. We do a wound then. One wound? One wound, he hit no relevant armor. Kind Four of up. We do no damage. Nice. Okay, cool. That is it for shooting. We're going to go right on to charging. We are going to start with ramming speed with the Death Dread. Are you guys. within 12? You're supposed to be within 12. I am within 12. You are? Oh, okay. Say, yeah, okay. I'm like, I'm like tw uh, 10 inches away. All right, so we are oh. just under 11 in a straight line. We obviously have to go around this. So I'm down two command points. I'm down to four. The way ramming speed works, it's kind of the old way. I think is it identical? 3d6? Yeah. It's exactly the same. So I roll 3d6 for my charge, and I go that distance. Uh -oh. I'm going to roll, but he's got, here we go, right? Do I reroll? Yes. I, I reroll the whole Everything. Hey! Oh! 17 inch charge. Clear, clear. Guess jump, I won't be overwatching. Jump, jump, jump. jump. <laughs> Blip, 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 did not burn. Go off. All right, Storm Boys. I would like to retroactively overwatch. <laughs> no. Oh, that's right. And? Uh, yeah! Oh, the boys! Fog! Fog, fog, fog. Mr. Pain Boy, time to charge. I don't know what you need, but it's probably not a five. But we have, here we go. That's even worse. Okay. All right. Let's Mega see. Armor Boys, bring it on. What are we doing? Declaring charge? Bikes? Six? Sure, I'll keep it. That's how we charge in. And then we're going to go over here, because I think I want to fight with the Storm Boys first, but we forgot the other part of ramming speed is when it finishes the charge move, I think a unit within, I believe, engagement range on a 2+. plus. Uh, it'll take some impact hits. It'll be Three, one more wound. One whole more wound. We're going to go. We're going to go with the Storm Boys first. They're going to charge in, because they only have a 6-up save. <laughs> so a counteroffensive over here is quite deadly. We're going to pile in. Getting the base contact with you there. And we're just gonna try and, and try to remember that these are 32 millimeter base models. You know, looking at how they're piling in, I'm gonna spend the command point on get stuck in lads. This is show it off. It lets them uh, pile in or consolidate an extra three inches. So we're gonna have you go, I guess, deeper in there. You'll go in that area. Still getting closer to the initial guys. It's getting more guys attacking. Uh, get stuck in lads has a lot more value on the consolidation part because you could tie up certain units uh, and then get, get stuck in. It's like exactly that. Uh, I think that's all I'm getting for attacks, though, because their bases are, like, super big as 32 millimeter bases. That wasn't worth commitment, but whatever, I showed it off. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with the knob. The knob normally has three attacks, but we are goffing it up, so we have five attacks. Oh, sorry, no, we're walling it up, so we have four attacks here. I'm not going to... Oh, do I spend the two command points on fives and sixes or extra hits? 100% you do. Oh, just to show it off. No, because I want the two CP for the three damage on the mega knobs. Mm. Yeah. Nah, I'm just going to beat these guys up. Hooah! Hey, we have two misses, but we get an extra hit because we are goths and these wound on twos. Twos. We got that's uh, kills one and kills then two. another. Yeah, he, he strikes down two dudes, and then I have all of the boys to attack with. Mm. It's nine boys who get to swing, and that's four attacks per boy, so it's thirty-six boy attacks. All right, and these are the first half. He's hit on threes because there's no war boss nearby, but sixes are extra hits, so we just hit with everything but two actually. We have all those hits. And because we're goths, we get an extra strength on the charge or hero convention, so we wound on fours. Did it matter? By a couple. All right, in the second half, so we have six wounds on the first one. Threes, or the ones and twos in this here. But we have sixes, we have a six. Nice. And fours, because we charged and we're goths. Uh, that's only, in a, that's not that much more. It's uh, four more. So we have 10 wounds at minus one. Five ups. I kill some. One. Two? Was killed. anybody wounded? Nope, nope, because the uh, the knob finished uh, cleaning them up, so I just killed two more. Would you like to counter offensive anywhere? Yes. I'm gonna kill these two. Are you gonna counter offensive over here? Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> Update on CP, I'm at three, Steve's at one. I'm gonna counter offensive with these five bikers over here. Yeah. All right, Who are we how are we fighting? How are we splitting this Putting up? Putting everything, oops. Everything in the, uh... War boss? <gasps> no, hit them. Oh, come on, man. Nah, you're not gonna get them. Ah, they're fine, for sure. One uh, biker has to attack the war boss. We can just do him first. We have three uh, attacks. Threes and sixes. Oh, we got a wound. AP one. He is. Oh, he's taking the damage. He actually got him. He's done it too. <laughs> I'll fix that in a moment. And then we have all the other attacks. Do you want to do the knob first? Yeah, or last? the knob first. Knob first. Sorry. Fours. Got and a hit. And two. No. Yeah, two's right. Sorry. Yeah, two strength ten. Five six. And uh, minus three. We fail. That's two damage. We got one wound left on. We'll say the back guy. And we have what, three more reservating. Okay. Yeah, nine more. Threes. That's not bad. Not bad. And these are fours to wound. Uh, no, these are fives. Oh, fives, that's right. You didn't charge. Or you don't. Yeah, get three at minus three one. More. So I, have three. I have one wound left on the guy in the back. Oh, you got him. So he's dead. 
and you take the wound going down to two, and the war boss is at two as well. CP. To show it off, we are going to spend two command points. I don't think I need it. Uh, in fact, it actually might hurt me a little bit, but it's kind of cool. So it might be nice. We're going to do hit him harder. This is a mega knob stratagem, and it's two command points. When they go to attack with a power claw or the uh, the saw, kill maybe saw. the yeah. kill saw, it increases the damage characteristic by one, so it becomes three damage each. Very nice. And they get plus one hit being near the war boss, and they get the extra attack too because it's the four boss. attacks each on twos. Absolutely. Just go back to hitting on threes. Yeah, sorry. If we had another war boss around, it would be hitting on uh, twos. Does that stack? Yeah, because it'd be plus two minus one. All auras don't typically stack though. Oh, auras, you yeah, mean? Yeah. Uh, this, I believe that's an aura. Okay. Yeah. It'd be cool though. But we hit on threes. Uh, Sixes are two, uh, an additional hit. We have a handful of misses, but we get two of those back because of the glorious, glorious goth rule. Now, power claws on threes is not bad at all, especially sixes triggering extra hits. And these are twos to wound because they're strength 10. Uh, and all right, there should be no saves. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dead bikes. You got them. There's, there's only five there. Uh, if you did, otherwise, it would have been one, two, three. And three and a half. And then what I, I it would have worked out because the the, uh, the mega boss still could have attacked, but I was worried about you just keeping the one guy alive over here and then the mega boss uh, unable to attack. So they are going to consolidate. I'm just going to bloop whatever up forward. That is where they die. That is where they die. Yeah. I'm even consolidating off the objective. <laughs> I'm going to take care of it. From the mega knobs, we go to the death dread, who's going to pile in and around just to there, just to look more imposing. Ooh. And uh, he has he has four attacks normally. How many attacks do he have normally? Uh, three base now. He used to have two. And then plus one for every uh, claw he has. Wait, and he has orc. He did, you don't need to be core for the extra attack on the wall. Oh, so you're going to have seven. Yeah, so he's got, he said, yeah, three base, plus one for each weapon, and then, yeah, the wall. So seven attacks with this bad boy. He did all melee weapons, four melee weapons, so you'd have seven attacks base, plus one for the wall. Uh, which you typically get a couple battle rounds. 85 points for eight like strength, ridiculous attacks, and ridiculous damage. Actually, I don't even know what the profile is. I'm just assuming it's good. Yeah, it's seven attacks on threes. Oh, uh, but we yeah, are. It's all the more you need. We goths. We get oh, extra yes. There. And uh, strength 10. Twos. Twos. That's uh, AP3, so that kills off four bikes. There's only oh, two there, though. Left. We got all the bikes! Oh, uh, sorry. Uh and he will consolidate into the mech gun, even though it's still a vehicle. Can still right, you're getting work done. Yeah, we did a lot of damage. Wait, right? wait, that's a vehicle. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. He can still shoot me, I know. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we cleared it. Well, we, we actually, all things considered, we actually cleared out quite a bit. We killed two units of bikes, uh, and we killed the dock and jet. I would, if we're playing points, I'd only get 10 primary. <laughs> I'm serious. To my zero? Yeah. <laughs> what do you get? You're on two? Yeah. I'm only on one. For the mech gun. I could have I been on two. You're on two. two. You're almost on three. Actually, oh. I could have been, I, if I was, if I could have been, I should You could have ridden the pain boy that way. You could have been on four this turn. I could have, yeah. I could have. I, I actually. I'm not doing all. I'm doing way better than I that, that either Steve or I thought I was yeah, doing. Yeah, hundred percent. The hundred percent. The only true prediction. You're gonna was, lose. But <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna lose. But all the boys are dead. Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> like, yeah. We knew that without a doubt that was gonna happen. So we're gonna go into turn two for the uh, free Buddhas. And Steve's up to two command points here to show off some stuff. Nothing in the command phase other than the command point. And we're gonna carefully pick up this Waz Waz oh. Blam Blast Jet. Boom. Oh, I think I have to go. We're gonna put him up on that roof over there. Just to move his minimum distance. Is Dr. Jet? We're gonna go look at, uh, I guess, over here. Fly that rooftop. Uh, there we go. That's where he's gonna go. He's gonna murder a doctor. Uh, <laughs> and then the trike is gonna come go here to the just, uh, just to shoot guns. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid mech guns, really. That's it for Steve. He's got like all shooting guys hanging out in the bag. Uh, I'm gonna do a mech gun first. Okay, mech gun D6 shots. It's one shot that hits on a five. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go it's over five here. It's five because of a heavy, heavy weapon in combat. We're gonna do a mech gun into the Terminators. I mean, not the Terminators, the Mega, mega Knobs. Four shots. Hitting on fours because he's a brat. We got two hits. And three. We have a couple wounds. Five up safe. We fail both. Oh, no. Three. No, D6 each. Yeah, D6. So one guy's at two. So he's. Oh, I'm gonna command point it. I hope we roll another one. Right? Oh, you kill a guy. And the next guy is also dead. So you actually killed two Mega Knobs there. And after it's done shooting, that guy takes a mortal wound because he rolled a one to hit with the custom Mega Blaster. So we got the boss Mega Knob left, Mega Boss Knob, whatever his name is. We got that guy. Other mech gun, try to put him down. Try to put him down, unlock the freebooted trait. Ooh. Ooh, five shots. Four's the hit. And no mortal wounds. And three's two wounds for strength eight. There. Easiest of my life. Oh, one D6 damage. Oh, you oh, got him. Very nice. Yeah. Freebooted trait unlocked. Uh, plus one to hit for all the orky stuff. Tank busters are gonna fire at them. Yeah, so we have line of sight on them now, and it's a uh, blast weapon, so it's three shots per tank buster, 30 shots plus one to hit because of free Buddhas. Force. They didn't move. Force to hit. He's to wound. 
This is actually gonna do a little bit less than I thought it was gonna do. 10 dead. 10 dead, all right. There's like literally 30 explosions over here and only 10 of the orcs die. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. How many orcs remain? Right? Yeah. Shock attack on into your war boss. Ooh. Strength is. Uh, sorry, 2d6, 2d3 shots. Ooh, maximum shots. I'm going to do this in correct order. And then the strength of the gun's going to be uh, six. six. So it's winning on fives. So hitting on threes. <laughs> Uh, and fires the wound you. Nothing. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, we're really not showing off the shotgun. Uh, okay. shotgun it's a good weapon. Yeah, it's a good, it actually is. It's not a bad weapon. Uh, we'll put everything from him into them. See if we can whittle them down. I don't even know what he has. The board strike. Actually, he's got, he's got the tw he's got the two shotgun. He's got three strength five shotguns. Right. They're hitting on. And they're assault weapons. Fours. This this is one of the few guys. Stop. That could don't even. <laughs> don't don't even. even. Uh, two wounds. Uh, there AP on that? No. There is, because of, uh, he's a No, these are assault. Wait, I don't he, know if it works for assault. I think it's only DACA weapons. There's only DACA weapons? I, I, double, double, double oh, I thought it was all shooting attacks. Well, I think two guys are dead. Because, uh, the speed walk continues, it just loses the assault. And we, we, we lose right? the extra damage, we lose the assault, whatever, but we get, we get extra AP. Extra, we lose the extra shot. Right. We or you the, keep the AP, that's keep right. The AP. Yeah, keep the AP. DACA weapons, lose the extra shot, but you keep the AP. As the wad dies down. Now, for myself, on my turn, I won't be able to advance and charge, but I'll keep the attack. And we'll do the Burna. Burna! It's gonna be three hits. Not bad. Yeah, Burna's only strength. Oh, it's five. Fours. We have two wounds. AP one? Uh, AP two now. Actually, AP two. Yeah, two more guys die. So we have the knob and the um, boy. Okay. We'll put, we're gonna put the 18 inch range shot here and the, the 36 inch range shot into your war boss. Heck yeah, yeah bring it on. Let's do 18 inch range. No, if I was the this guy on fours and. Uh, plus one to wound, so two wounds on him. Yeah, I think he's dead. Is it two damage? Yeah. Ah, uh, two damage. Yeah, they are two yeah, damage. AP two? AP two? AP two or three, actually, right now. So boom, boom. Unfortunately, the knob dies, too. All right. So the 2d6 shots, the heavy one. Oh! Oh, we're going to get him, Luca. Let's see if the Warboss can survive this. I think I only have two wounds Okay, so we're hitting on... We're plus two to hit, so it doesn't really help anything. Right, so fours. Uh, Not no. a okay. bad roll. This is strength five. Um, so I have plus one to wound. Cannot do your minus one. So still fives. Fives to wound him, yep. Oh, he tanks one. one. Minus four up. You don't kill my war. Two box. damage. Oh wait, you reduce. Oh, I'm not gonna reroll it. I'm sorry, it's only one damage. Exactly. Yeah. So I have one wound left. I'm not gonna reroll it. Okay, it's crazy, dude. No, I got him right here. Kill Ken. Kill Ken. D6, D6, D6 shots. shots. It's gonna be three. On we're hitting four. on fours. Ah, we're wounding on that, fours. That. <laughs> ah. Okay. Okay. There he's gonna go. die. Look, he's gonna die. He's gonna die for sure. What's uh, next? What's next? Oh. I don't know if I put this plane into him. Well, I should do everything from this plane into him. But like, here's the thing: like, that's 18 shots into them. Oh, those guys are already dead. They're yeah, but if, <laughs> they're those guys are not super. Like, they see what's going on. They're leaving, man. They're out of here. Everything, and I want to get this. Boss I'm supposed to see this boss could die. Here's the uh, secret of the uh, game, here, folks. After this boss dies, I'm conceding. <laughs> but let's see what Steve can do to kill him. Because all I have left are the 20, the tank hunters. I got, a, I got a Daka Jacker to shoot at them. No, 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 you shoot the Dakage at the war boss. If he doesn't die. Ah, there we go. I still have one command point for a reroll. So we'll start off with the teleporter Mega Blasters. It's going to be seven shots. Oh, it's 2d6, very scary. Uh, um, you should be forced to hit. Uh, excuse me, they're hitting Three, on threes. I just, he's got the S4. <laughs> he's a mech. Didn't really, ah, uh, it did help. Okay, so this is strength nine. So we need you on fours. <laughs> fours to him. Oh, no, three. I make him vulnerable save. Oh, command point. No! D3 plus three? He's dead. Five damage, you cut it in half to three? That's right, yeah. Oh, he only had one left. He only had one left, yeah. Oh, that was overkill. And then you're not gonna shoot the Daka jet into the tank. 100% put right. the Daka jet into the tank buses. They're all dead. You killed them. No, let me roll. <laughs> you can roll if you want to. Floosh. I have to beat up the mech gun with the death dread. Let's watch. Let's watch. Bam, seven attacks. Threes. Ooh, one miss because of the six to hit. And threes. Oh, he's super dead. Uh, we're, we're done. Yeah, we're done. That's it. I kill a mech gun. Feels super good. I am real for that. Oh, no, they're all dead. I wonder if all he, right. he can actually probably kill your war boss, too, on my turn. That's nah, a, I got an involved. In oh, you're probably, oh, you're going to say the same build. I'm going to do seven attacks. He, he's minus one, two. Actually, you know what, Steve? You can kill him. Four. Charge me. Because I'll, I'll do the flamer. Whatever. Uh, I'm not going to do the flamer. I rolled the one. <laughs> Six, seven attacks. I hit. On threes. Threes, but I have two extra hits because of the sixes. I am toughness. Six and minus one to wound. So fours. So we have five winning hits. Five winning hits, okay. And whatever your involvement is. It's four. only five up. I'm gonna use my one command point to reroll. So if four go through, uh, that kills me. Is that, is that, do you have half damage? No. That's only infantry? That's only infantry. Ooh. Oh, he takes 12 damage. Hey, what a, 
85 points. 85 points. 85 points. Yeah. This guy is awesome. Yeah. Now, granted, he could have taken a lot more firepower. Because I think the one Daka jet that did a couple damage to the war boss could have done probably three to him. And he'd actually still be kicking. Yeah, sure. With everything that went on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not that yeah. it's gonna win me a game or anything, but like that No, is I mean cool. like he for 85 that's a that's a distraction card effects. So. I'm I'm very happy with the yeah. performance of a death dread. No, I'm not happy with the boys. The boys. <laughs> the boys. Absolutely. <laughs> I I could agree, but I think No, it's amazing. The tank busters, the bikes, the Daka jet. The dread death dreads. The death dread? I don't mind war boss. The war boss was, oh, the, I, the Mega Armor War Boss? I every time, I'm gonna do it every time. A war boss seems super just good. Just go. Yeah, abso absolutely. <laughs> he tanks so much. He just tanks so much. You don't even want to fire at him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, not, yeah. Even, not even at all. So Steve and I are gonna tidy up a little bit, jump into a post game, and then. Actually, no, there isn't gonna be a post game. Oh, that's right. Because you guys, you guys heard us yeah. talking about a lot of stuff. There is a, a, a review point. right now up in the vault. We're, we haven't recorded it yet. We're gonna go clean up, we're gonna sit down, and we're gonna record that, but it's not free to write down to watch. We're gonna go over everything. In fact, I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly how long the review's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be about three hours because that's all the time we have. <laughs> Fair. Well, we have a lot, a lot to talk about yeah. for the orcs. I Steve's got a special place in his heart for orcs, and I've always liked orcs. I've always liked traditional orcs. I'm playing against them. I don't mind playing as them, but playing against them is always fun. Anyways, folks, thanks for tuning in. Leave some feedback down below. Actually, I will say this. Um, uh, shameless plug for my channel. Ooh, yes. Um, on Sunday, I will do a live show sometime in the afternoon, Eastern time, Probably where we're talking about this exact yeah. uh, book. This book, yeah. We'll, we'll extend that conversation. But it's just going to be, uh, we're doing the in-depth conversation right now in the vault here. So. Right. Yeah, we're just going to go time. So we're Mountain Miniatures go, yeah. on YouTube for me on Sunday. Otherwise, go to the vault right now for my, all my true thoughts. And I'm going to pick Lucas' brain because we're going to debate. We're going to argue, I think. <laughs> well, no, I, I definitely, I am leaning definitely in agreement with whatever you're saying <laughs> okay. with the orcs. But I think... That there's potential. Oh no, 100 percent No, there definitely is. There definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. It just, yeah. It's, if a good, it's a good book. It's a good book. And if we forgot anything, folks, leave comments down below because uh, we might not be aware of it, right? Luca doesn't play orcs. I don't even. I don't this play. This is orcs. a whole new book. We had it uh, for literally two, well, four, uh, four to six hours. We've had it approximately to read it and uh, make lists. It took us half that time to make a list. It's so cool. Absolutely so cool. Yeah, it, it took us a while to make a list too. Anyways, folks. Uh, see ya in the vault, or we'll see you in future Orc Battle Reports. Happy Wargaming.